Today's casual conversation is with senior Brandy Bisping. Hi, Brandy. Hi, how are you? Doing great. Uh, you have had an eventful summer. Talk about some of the stuff that's gone on with your family and Morton. Uh, yeah, so I became an aunt like three months ago. So that was right at the beginning of quarantine. So that's been super fun. And then my sister got married on July 4th. So we did a lot of stuff preparing for that. We painted our entire house, which was a lot, a week full of painting. <laughs> so it has been crazy, but it's been fun being home. It turned out really good though, even just coming to visit you and seeing all the cool colors you guys chose. I was really impressed. Oh yeah, we really tried to get the flow going of the colors from room to room. Yeah, it looked really, really good. So I'm sure the wedding went off great and can't wait to hear more about it when you get back to campus here soon. So talk to us a little bit about some memorable moments of your childhood. Tell us how it was growing up in Morton, Illinois. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, I'm the youngest of four, as you know. So a lot of my childhood was spent at my siblings' sporting events and running around those. And so I feel like when I thought about my childhood, I think about playing games with other kids below the bleachers at basketball games or volleyball games or playing games at the playground at the baseball fields. And honestly, when I think about those times, they're all so happy. I, I don't miss it, but I miss it, you know? <laughs> For sure. And you've had some really great athletes in your family. I mean, you look at kind of just the level of play that your siblings have had is pretty incredible. Oh, yeah. I mean, Brooke played at Bradley and Brett played at Siena. And so they always kind of push me and they're always there to give good advice because they know what it's like to go through being a division one athlete. So it's been really awesome having them as a resource. Yeah, for sure. And now you're coming into your senior season and obviously it's been very different this summer with, you know, being home and the stay at home orders going home so early, uh, you know, in late March. Um, what is your kind of your off season training look like? How have you been preparing for the season? Yeah, I actually have a barn at my house and it has a court in it, not a full court, but a partial court. So I spend a lot of time out there getting shots up. Me and Brayden will play one-on-one. -on -one. He stayed home for like three months. Who wins so, those games? Um, we don't play games. He plays defense. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we kind of stay away from the whole one-on-one -on -one thing. It gets a little too competitive. Someone's I, can, I can imagine that. I can imagine that. <laughs> yeah, so, but he's been really helpful in, like, being able to defend me and try to give me different opportunities, so. That's great. Um, I've seen the barn. It's a pretty awesome place. I think everybody wishes they had something like that right now. I am lucky, for it's sure. pretty hot in there, though, I'm guessing, with temperature down in southern Illinois. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so hot. My dad doesn't even have a fan in there, so. Oh. It's yeah, like so good sweat box. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of your game, congratulations this last year on making third team all conference. That was such a big honor for you and very well deserved. Talk to us a little bit about some of the aspects that you love about your game the most. Oh, geez. I definitely take pride in my grit that I play with. I take charges. I, I always want to be the person that does things that no one else wants to do. And I definitely take pride in that, but I think over my collegiate career, the things that I've improved the most on have been offensively. When I was a freshman, I came in and I think I took like 14 threes on the year. Yep. And so I just, only if they were wide open, only if they were wide open. You still have some moments like that occasionally where I'm like, shoot it, <laughs> please. You know, there's, there's film of that happening, of the whole gym yelling shoot. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what's open. <laughs> Oh, me. You're like fake here, fake there. Fake. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And I'm wide open because they obviously think I don't think I'm open because I don't think I'm open. So, <laughs> but I'm definitely glad that I got more aggressive over the last year or two and my post moves and my looking for my shot. Yeah. And then I would also add your leadership to that. I mean, you have been an incredible leader for us. Um, over the last uh, three seasons. And I know that's just going to continue coming into this year. You're, you're one of our energy givers for sure. I mean, multiple clips of your energy on the bench, on the court. Um, and it's just, it really just helps fuel us game in and game out. So we, we appreciate that part of your game so much too. Oh, thanks. 
who in your family or who in your life has had the most impact on your game and just has really kind of been, you know, influential um, in developing you? This question is easy. This is my dad for sure. If, if I didn't have my dad, I don't even know if I would play basketball. Like he, from day one, I had a basketball in my crib when I was born. So it was just kind of like put into my life and he has helped me grow through it. We have family traditions on Thanksgiving and on Christmas, we go to the gym as a family. That's great. And shoot. And there's some disagreements sometimes, but it's always, it always ends up good. He's just knows so much about the game and loves it so much. And I'm so thankful that he was able to pass that down on to me. That's awesome. And then your mom can be your biggest cheerleader on the backside. So that's, oh yeah, my that's mom's good, the best. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good person to have too for the balance side of things. <laughs> Well, we are excited about your senior season. Uh, we know that there's going to be a lot of people out there supporting you, supporting our team, um, and we're just going to do our best to adjust the sudden changes as we move towards that, and, uh, and we know we'll be ready, though, right? Oh, yeah. We're ready already. All right. We'll say goodbye to your fans. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you later.